Let me say it this way. I would not have taken this case without that video. Attorney Chris Weiss represents Alex Hornback, who can be seen in this home surveillance video, being arrested by two troopers with the Kentucky State Police on a bench warrant in April of 2020. As you see, officers instruct Hornback to place his hands on the wall to be handcuffed as his parents watch close by. That's when things took a turn before troopers forced the man to the ground, and now former trooper Thomas Sartorsky beat the man in the legs with an object. I see the excessive use of force by officers, you know, and and... I mean, luckily there were no hospital bills from this. Um, you know, that wasn't what sort of bothered me. What bothered me was there was no use of force report that was made. What's worse, according to the attorney, is that former trooper Sartorsky lied under oath about his actions that can clearly be seen on video. When he was taken to the ground, did you use any force on him? No. Did you ever strike him with any object? No. This contradiction has now prompted a charge of perjury against a former trooper, which carries up to five years in prison if convicted. According to the attorney, it was a lieutenant with KSP who actually filed the charges against Sartorsky. When you catch someone dead to rights like this, um, you know, it, 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 it does sort of undermine faith in, in uh, you know, in the system and in people, you know, being honest. And I think, um, I, you know, it is a big deal when you catch someone in a lie like this, especially when they're a law enforcement officer, because frankly, more is expected out of them. Now, two other troopers and a sergeant are also named in the lawsuit that remains ongoing. I'm Stefan Dingle. Vicki, back to you.